But I think we all know guys like this. You know, guys that think they know better than everyone about everything. You know, you think you know better than women and doctors about abortion. You even think you know better than seniors about Social Security. And you think you know better than veterans about how to win a war. Folks, we all know guys like this. And we can't be letting them make decisions about us because it's just dangerous. There are a lot of funny Republican candidates running this year, but one of the funniest who isn't getting as much attention as some of the funnier ones like Dr. Oz and Herschel Walker is Blake Masters in Arizona. And now he's running for Senate against Mark Kelly, you know, the astronaut. But Blake Masters is so desperate in his attempt to become a senator that even Fox News is calling out his bull Check out this clip from Fox News where Harris Faulkner, who is usually entirely deferential to Republicans, kind of pushes back on his claims about the 2020 election. I know at one point your website had featured this statement. If we had a free and fair election, President Trump would be sitting in the Oval Office today. That comment no longer sits on your website. Why not? Well, I still believe it, that's for sure. And like I said in my debate last week, I think if everyone followed the law, President Trump would be in the uh, Oval Office. Look at how the FBI pressured Facebook and other big tech companies to censor true information about Hunter Biden's very serious crimes. How off the rails do you have to be to get pushback as a Republican from Fox News? And you can see in his comments, he's just kind of all over the place. And then the media said, oh, well, that's OK. That's just Russian disinformation. No, it was true. Hunter's got all these corrupt business dealings with China and the Ukraine and millions of people here in Arizona, millions of people in the country didn't get to read about that in the weeks before the election. I think that one act of corporate censorship, of big tech censorship, that sent Biden into the White House. First of all, Hunter Biden wasn't running for president. We weren't voting for Hunter Biden. But that's something the right loves to latch on to because he apparently has some missteps in his past that allegedly we should care about. I don't give a Some of the stuff makes him seem more likable. But then on the big tech thing, and now this is ironic. He's claiming that big tech is censoring what we can see about election info, and that's just not true. Some platforms took some steps to mitigate outright lies. I think generally that's a good thing. But on the right, they have this subjective understanding of truth, where the narratives that they want to push are what people should see as truth, and things that go against it aren't. You know, kind of like the alternative facts line from Kellyanne Conway. That's just the reality they live in. So they're deeply upset when their outright lies aren't able to freely spread on social media. But the real irony isn't about that. It's that he is funded by one of the original investors in Facebook, Peter Thiel. Like Peter Thiel is a Silicon Valley mainstay. And sure, over the past few years, he's soured on it, but he is literally a Silicon Valley big tech tycoon. And he's funding this campaign. He, this guy is the quintessential big tech candidate. And it's this type of hollow rhetoric that we've seen from Republicans like him, just like we've seen from Josh Hawley, where they pay lip service to an issue. Sure, big tech and tech monopolies are bad. I think we can all agree on that. But people like Blake Masters are never going to do anything about it because people like Blake Masters are ultimately going to serve the interests of their big donors. So it's a really good thing that right now Mark Kelly is up about four and a half points, but that will not matter if people don't get out to vote. So do you want someone like Blake Masters who thinks we should ban all abortions in office or do you want somebody who doesn't think that? The answer is simple, but again, it only matters if you get out and vote.